my music choice today. I'm the... <laughs> I had to switch it up a little bit, man. I was getting sick of the, uh, we want a party day day. <laughs> I needed to switch it up. Like it was, it was getting too, I heard that song way too many times. I think I've, I probably heard that song. It's got to be at least 10, 20,000 times. I had to switch it up a little bit, man. Like <laughs> if we get a pump, I'll play it again. But shit, we had to switch it up. Like it, 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 it was getting absolutely brutal at this point, man. Um, anyways, let's talk some Mexican food. That's all we're going to do for today's stream. We're not going to talk any crypto, and then we're just going to end it. All right, sounds good. No, just play. <laughs> let's talk some Bitcoin. Let's talk some Mexican food. Uh, to start off the stream, though, I see a lot of you guys talking shit about my poll. Now, that's okay. If you want to talk shit about my poll, that's okay. Um, it is what it is. But I can only pick four options for the Mexican food. So um, I wanted to start off the stream with a little bit of a Mexican poll today. And we said, what is the best Mexican dish out of these? We said tacos, enchiladas, burritos, and chimichangas. Okay. <laughs> Why chimichangas? I don't know. I, did. I, I I wanted to pick that as the fourth one. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> That's what we got. But we got tacos. Tacos picked as number one. Like what? What the frick is this? Now, I, no, don't get me wrong, guys. I like my tacos, but come on. Seriously? That's so plain, man. Out of all those things, four things, you're going to pick tacos out of enchiladas, burritos, chimichangas. Like, come on, guys. Now, okay, what am I, you might say, Jordan, what are you choosing then? Uh, you know, if, if, if you know it all, what the frick are you choosing? Well, I'm taking, I'm easily taking Actually, I'm easy, I'm taking enchiladas out of all those. I am taking the enchiladas, and I'm gonna be happy with my damn enchiladas. All right, so I'm telling you right now, I'm taking the enchiladas all day. Now, if I want to be a little bit healthier, okay, I, I get I get the tacos. I get the taco pick if you're trying to be healthy. But if you're a fat guy, <laughs> okay, if you're just a fat guy who's sitting on the couch, okay, and you want to stuff your face with something. Do you really think that this guy is gonna is gonna pick frickin' tacos? Mom, I want Mexican food! Yeah, I got mole sauce on my face. What whatever, man. Yeah. Yeah, give me some give me some chimichangas. Chimichangas, get mole sauce with the sauce. Make sure it's mole, because I like chocolate. <laughs> Do you think that guy is picking tacos? No, he's not picking tacos. Anyways. The reason why I asked you guys this, I have no reason why to add, I wanted to start off the stream with Mexican food talk, but, you know, <laughs> why not? Why not? We like talking food on this channel. We're like, uh, we're like Jordan's 500 pound life without me being like 500 pounds. I, I, I sort of, I, I, I push out my, my cravings on you guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it is what it is. Uh, shout out to everyone in the chat though. We got, um, we got, uh, Cole Crypto. We got DJ TaylorMate. Bring back the whiteboard said Cole Crypto. Remember the whiteboard days when we had it back? I had my little drawing of uh, Bitcoin, ETH, and I and I, I just uh, smashed the like on the whiteboard. Man, that that was some ghetto shit. You want you, you want to think you hear a bunch of ghetto sounds around this bitch? My whiteboard was ghetto as shit. Okay, but I, I did like my Bitcoin and ETH paint um, drawing. I th I, I took a it took me a whole whopping ten minutes to draw those. <laughs> As I have no patience for art, <laughs> I will do one take on my Bitcoin picture, and that is it. I will not do a second take. Why? Because it already took me five minutes too long. That's why. I I ain't drawing no Bitcoin or eat picture ever again, man. Yo, Orlando, what's going on, bro? Yo, 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 man. Yo, yo, yo. Take the beard filter off. Oh, you're funny. You're funny, man. You're funny. Listen, if it, if it was a filter, I'd tell you guys. Um, or would I tell you guys? You never know if the beard filter is real. You see me back in the 2020 days, I had no beard. And I look like Carl the Moon's brother who had too many cheeseburgers. You know what I'm saying? That's what I looked like back then. Uh, but now we, we, we've transformed. We've transformed into Bob's brother who ate too many cheeseburgers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what we got today. Uh, Mike said, man, the whiteboard predates me. Yeah, Mike, I, the whiteboard was like early 2021. You know, like we're going early 2021, probably back to like January, February 2021. You got to go way back in those times. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyways, anyways, let, let's 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 see what's going on today. There's not too much action in the crypto world today. Bitcoin kind of just hanging out um, at, uh, you know, it, it basically came down to 29,000 
900, 30K, uh, which is basically was support back in this previous consolidation. We wicked down twice actually, and now we're kind of just holding here. Um, we're, we're, we're sort of just holding. It, it's keeping us in suspense if it's gonna break down lower or not. Now, we do have this little ch downwards channel, which we did get a um, you know slight bounce off up down here, as well as this 30K uh, support. Um, I did take an ETH long today. Um, if you guys were in the member stream, uh, I was pointing out this level right here for Ethereum. Um, and Ethereum actually came out and came right into this box. And uh, that's kind of what I was looking for. I wanted to take out the lows on Ethereum. I got the lows on Ethereum. And now I'm looking for a little bit of a bounce on ETH. So if I'm expecting a bounce on ETH, I'm expecting a bounce on Bitcoin. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, that, that's what we got. Uh, Bitcoin kind of just slowly squeezing up. Uh, on the short-term time frames and uh really just just kind of waiting and, and and seeing you know what's going to happen on the daily my next daily target's 32,400 i do think we're going up to test that um we might just have to kind of settle in here for a little bit uh before we sort of get to that next target and you know sometimes you know we, we might have to like chop in here hit this a few times before we can actually break to the upside which is cool i got the patience we all got the patience i know some of us the patience is wearing a little bit of thin which is cool um but um i do think bitcoin is still going up to 30 32,400 um just because the higher term time frames just look phenomenal right the weekly we've talked about the weekly um normally when you get this like you know you get a big push up to resistance you get a slow sell off and then you just instantly get bought right back up right to that resistance level uh typically you do break that right typically you're not just going to come up to the top we and just get smacked back videos down from back right? in the day in the discord <laughs> no. last weekend you've come um, a long way that's all i can say <laughs> thank you mike <laughs> i did come a long way holy shit back in those days you know to be honest you know i was doing simple shit i was like listen guys okay i, I think i was talking about like dash Guys, listen, dash. Actually, let, let, let me let me take the beard filter off here. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, let me take the beard filter off. Yeah, back in the days, dude, I was like, oh, come on, come off, come off. Come off, man. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There's me. <laughs> There's me back in 2020. <laughs> Guys, okay, I really do think dash is really looking good against the Bitcoin pair. And I think that Dash is gonna flip previous resistance into new support. And then we're gonna get that next push up and a lot of people do not think we're gonna get a bounce here, but I think we're gonna get a bounce from this previous resistance flipping into support. It's an absolute. <laughs> okay, here we go, we got, we got action going on outside. Uh, flip the previous just yeah man that, that, that was back in the 2020 days dude <laughs> basically just flipping resistance into support what the f i swear to god guys there's never noise outside <laughs> like ever it, 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 it i guess this is when all the kids want to want to go outside and scream you know what i'm saying <laughs> john said someone just get murdered someone didn't bite must just get murdered maybe i should check uh should i check outside make sure they didn't get murdered horse guy can you check for me bro oh no jordan jordan there's a murder wait is that savvy oh okay no one cares about savvy looks like savvy got murdered looks like he has a ladder next to him with his shorts <gasps> he's got a ladder with his shorts his shorts fell off oh okay so, uh, uh, no one gives a shit about Savvy. Jordan, continue the stream. It, it's just Savvy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right. Anyways, let's get back on topic, man, so we can get back to the to the Mexican food talk in a little bit. Like, shit, I want to get back to the Mexican food talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Um. <laughs> all right. Anyways. 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 Uh, make sure. Yeah, Savvy. He's. Yeah, he's. Okay. Yeah. He, He's, he's gone. He's gone. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. So uh, Bitcoin came back to the highs. Typically, when you see this massive push off the 50 moving average like this, you're not just going to come right back down, um, especially when you see this massive weekly candle here. And obviously, when you pair this with uh, not only getting the, 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 the up move and then the pull back to the 50, when you also pair it with the stock RSI crossing to the upside, on the weekly and you also cross it with the macd also flipping positive on the weekly 
you put everything together to bounce off the most important moving average in my opinion which is the 50 um your momentum indicators just now pointing up um i think you've got enough juice to sort of push you through short term right we might have to chop in here for a little bit it might not just be that instant push through that we all want right and we're all kind of begging for just that instant moon i saw some of you guys in the pregame lobby like jordan when moon man i need moon bro i need moon and, um, you know, I, I, I want moon too. And listen, I want more than moon. I want, and there's many things that I want. I want Chinese food, Mexican food. You know, th there's many things that I want in this life. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, we might have to wait. We might have to kind of chop in here for a little bit before we get it. But ultimately, right, like I said, the, my next level on the daily is 32,400 uh, to the upside. And I, as we know, right, I am expecting um, this second year, uh, for us coming up to the mid 40k levels as i got my second year target ready with the magnet ready to freaking go and we know why we've talked about this a million times we know why i'm looking up there uh, i don't want to go over it again today if you have questions just let me know but i think you guys all understand why i'm looking up there because that's what we've done every single cycle so still just chopping around man let's get let's get some shit in the chat man let's get those likes up can we get 400 likes on today's stream can we get 400 likes on today's stream if we do 400 likes if we can hit 400 likes, guys, I'm going to do five membership giveaway for myself. Uh, but we got to hit 400 likes for us to do it. That's a super easy goal. Super easy. We got Bitcoin near the highs. Then we should have hype in the chat, man. All right? We should have hype in the chat. So let's get this shit. Let's get 400 likes. Um, and then we'll do five memberships. Um, anyways, so, so that, that's kind of what we got on the BTC. Kind of just, you know, kind of just figuring out, you know, like, a, you know, what's going to happen now. The, the only the only way I get worried for Bitcoin is if we drop below twenty eight thousand five hundred, anywhere above this white box, which is basically like these March highs, right? That previous high we put in May, any pullback to there is for longs. Any pullback for there is for buying. Um, I only really get really skeptical if Bitcoin starts pulling back too far. Because if Bitcoin pulls back too far, that shows weakness from the bulls. A, small, a slight pullback is fine, but you don't want to pull back too deep. When you pull back too deep, you get a little you get a little scared, right? And then you might have to be laddering in the shorts like savvy. You know what I'm saying? Like you might have to start laddering those shorts if you get back below 28,500. And we don't want to be doing that, okay? We don't want to be doing that or we're going to end up like these guys who shorted the NASDAQ. I did not, I did not show the NASDAQ. Okay, we did. We did, but we won, we won the Bitcoin. How did they know we did, how did they know? <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with that. Don't, don't, you know, eventually, eventually once they got liquidated, then the NASDAQ wants to get a pullback the last few days, man. You gotta love it. But we had to liquidate the Saudis first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we had to take out the Saudis. And all the bears. We had to take all of the bears before the before the uh, Nasdaq gets a pullback. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> let's go, man. Jordan doesn't want it deep. I don't want it deep, man. I don't want it deep. John, don't be don't be making those jokes, man. Listen, we have some Karens in the chat. Okay, you got to be careful. We have a lot of Karens and we have a lot of Roberts and we have a lot of people in the chat that are looking to cancel even people in the chat nowadays. So you got to be careful what you're saying, bro. You can't make jokes like Jordan only wants the tip, <laughs> even though it's a funny joke. Be careful, John. They're going to come after you. No one's safe nowadays, okay? Shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, about, to, <laughs> I'm about to get taken over for my Saudi joke. <laughs> you know, like, it is what it is. All right. But, uh, all right, so that's where we're at. Like, anywhere above 28.5, I think, is fine. Um, at the end of the day... We're just kind of chopping in here. Not not too much to really say on Bitcoin. I'm not going to spend too much time on Bitcoin today. Uh, like I said, I am going to ETH long. Um, I am looking for ETH to get back into this range. If ETH can back into this range, I'll target 1936. Um, just simply on Ethereum there. It's not too much different on ETH. Is ETH kind of just definitely weaker than Bitcoin at the moment. Um, very much weaker than Bitcoin at the moment. As uh, ETH Bitcoin is actually continuing lower. So... Which I'm not surprised, as as we sort of expect Bitcoin dominance. Um, now that we broke out from this range, so we sort of expect Bitcoin dominance to go higher, and I'm expecting Bitcoin dominance to continue up to 5721, and then we can all party like the USA and have our all coins go to the moon. All right, but I am still expecting some some upside on. 
Bitcoin dominance. Now keep in mind, just because Bitcoin dominance goes up does not mean your altcoins go down. Okay, now it can mean that, uh, but this could also mean that Bitcoin goes up and the altcoins go up, and we can all hold hands and and um, sort of skip through the skip through the tulips and all turn into pickles. You know, say that we can all get super super bullish and turn into pickles and Strap say up. we're going, going to the moon. moon. And we can all do it together. Um, but we still got Bitcoin dominance going up. I still think it's going to continue to go up. Uh, I still think the better risk reward is being in BTC. Even though you've gotten some altcoins have done that, that done very very good. Shout out to BCH. You see anyone else call BCH? I don't think you did. I don't think you did. You guys spat them. <laughs> I, I got I got to bring this up, even though it's it's one altcoin. You know, at the end of the day, hold on. Let me let me bring up my guy in here. Where is he? Here is he. Where is he? Thank you for jumping back to MM Crypto. And today, guys, and today, I want to talk about how all you guys spitted on Jordan's chest for saying he bought Bitcoin Cash. You all said he is an idiot for buying the Dino Coin. Well, guess what, guys? You are the idiot. Okay? And yes, guys, and yes, I also did long Bitcoin Cash over on Bybit. So if you want to sign up using my link, link is down below. Okay, and yes, guys, I am in um, I am in Mexico right now, enjoying my Bitcoin cash gains, and um, yeah, if you want to join me, you know, like I said, Bit buy Bit is the link down below. Uh, but other than that, guys, smash up the like to a new all-time high, and I will catch you guys later. Do not spit on Jordan's chest, okay? Do not spit on Jordan's chest. <laughs> uh, no, shout, shout out to everyone who caught that though. Um, like I said, it is it is at a monthly resistance. We'll talk about that in a little bit though. But of course, I had to bring it up. Um, yeah, so we got that going on Bitcoin dominance, um, you know, and um, yeah, I, mean, I guess we, we, we can sort of sit here and, and kind of chill out on BTC. Um, you know, a few altcoins went up. Like I said, Bitcoin Cash had another good day today. It is at a huge resistance level, right? So once again, like <laughs> it's cool that it's pumping, but you're at a resistance level. I wouldn't necessarily be buying it here, okay? This, this is not where I'd be buying Bitcoin Cash um you know the time to buy it was lower now you're kind of hitting up coming up into this this monthly and weekly resistance if there's going to be a pullback it's going to be from right here right if this gets back up into here i think it's going to come a little bit higher to this like 280 level right here um right here on the bitcoin cash probably right at that weekly level um if it breaks up higher um, but just, just keep in mind it is that resistance. So like, I wouldn't be FOMOing in right here, even though <laughs> I, uh, I wanted to actually FOMO more in today, but I didn't do it. I, I decided not to FOMO more into Bitcoin cash today. Um, and I'll tell you guys what altcoin that I did buy today. Cause I did buy an altcoin today. Okay. And it's probably not one that you expect. Can anyone guess what altcoin that Jordan bought today? And there's always a reason why I buy an altcoin. It's never just random. Okay. Let me know what altcoin you think Jordan bought, okay? Jordan, let me know what altcoin you bought. I will buy it. Yes, I will buy it. Why? Because I just hodl it. I just hold. I have bought every altcoin Jordan has bought and I've never sold. I just hodl it. Yes. So Jordan, let me know. I will buy it. <laughs> let me know, let me know, let me know. XRP, Matic, Pepe, EOS. Uh, but yeah, so like Bitcoin Cash, I, I, I wouldn't be FOMO. And I, th I think, you know, at this point, you're either waiting for a break of resistance and a retest, or you're just waiting for it to come back down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, one or the other. That's kind of what you're waiting for there um, on Bitcoin Cash. Other than that, Nier had a nice little pump today. It kind of sold off most of most of the pump, though, um, which is what kind of what you've seen lately. Like, you know, an altcoin gets a big pump and it doesn't hold the gains. It kind of just sells off the complete um, it just kind of just sells off the complete gain, you know, over the course of the day. Yeah, but uh, Nier had a nice pump today, up about, you know, like I said, 17%. It, like I said, it did retrace pretty much like <laughs> like 60% of that 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 move, um, as it did get rejected from this previous support. So, you know, at the end of the day, okay, it's a nice move, um, but you really didn't get anywhere, right? So. Uh, that's kind of where you're at with that. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, uh, but that's really all that happened today. <laughs> like <laughs> nothing happened today, bro. <laughs> Everything else kind of just slow bled back down. 
um, after the AR. I had a few good days for the altcoins, but most of them kind of just back to red, um, kind of just bleeding as Bitcoin kind of just goes sideways. Um, that's probably what I expect for longer is, you know, the altcoins will have these random couple days where they do really, really well and then Bitcoin will consolidate and they'll just bleed back down to where they were, right? I mean, it is what it is. So, um, that, but that's that. But I did buy an altcoin today. What altcoin did Jordan buy? What Jordan, what altcoin did Jordan, Jordan buy today? Well, I don't, I don't, let me see if any of you guys guessed it. I don't think any of you guys did. Not that it really matters at the end of the day. Um, let's see. I want to see what you guys said. <laughs> Crypto Donovan said Dash. He's got, we got some Pepe, we got some Pepe guesses. We got Litecoin. I already got Litecoin. Yes, a stupid one if you bought any of them. <laughs> you got to love Clint. I, I love Clint, man. He, he's the best. Um... Let's see. XRP, Litecoin, Fahid thinks I'm AI. I could be AI, man. You never know if I'm AI. You know what I'm saying? But a I'll tell you this. If AI had to pick a Mexican dish to eat, he ain't picking He ain't picking enchiladas. He's picking tacos. You know what I'm saying? Because AI... Actually, I don't even know. What would AI pick as a Mexican dish? Probably... Probably... He, he probably would pick the most, like, easy one to make. And that's probably tacos out of those. Actually, maybe burrito is easier because you're only making one. You know what I'm saying? It's just bigger. What's easier to make, a taco or, or burritos? Well, if you're making multiple tacos, I'd argue that a burrito is easier to make. Yeah, it depends. It depends. It depends. All right. What altcoin did Jordan buy? <laughs> I'm like keeping you just expense for no reason. Uh, I scooped up some uh, Ethereum Classic today. Ethereum Classic, and you might be saying, Jordan, you bought another Dino coin. Now listen, if <laughs> remember what happened the last time you guys shit on a altcoin that I bought. <laughs> All right, so before you're quick to judge, I'll show you why I bought Ethereum Classic today. I'm not saying you guys go out and buy Ethereum Classic, okay? Just know, I'm willing to take, take this risk. If Bitcoin takes a shit from here, so will Ethereum Classic, but I'm willing to take a risk. And I, I, I'll, I'll look at... Um, Ethereum Classic. But I always want to make that disclaimer, man. If Bitcoin takes a shit, so will Ethereum Classic. <laughs> All right? So ETH Classic, baby. Why Why did Jordan get an ETH Classic today? Well, the Dino Coins have been outperforming everything, right? We've seen Bitcoin Cash do well. We've even seen Bitcoin SV do well, okay? We've seen a lot of these. We've seen Monero. Monero. Monero has been killing it. And that's usually a stable coin. You know what I'm saying? But the Dino coins seem to be moving. Now, it must be a long-term hold, but I don't know. But I was looking at Ethereum Classic today, and, you know, for multiple different reasons that I like it. Um, we did come down and wick down to this low back here at 1256 that we that we came from June. It's one of the reasons. Uh, the second reason was we had this, this trend line that came up like this. We dumped back below, we got back above. So we had a perfect reclaim in there, showing some strength that the buyers can push you back up above that level. Now, that's not, okay, the USD pair, that's cool. We don't give, like, this is cool. I mean, I can show you this on any altcoin. Here's the reason why I do like Ethereum Classic here, though. We go to Ethereum Bitcoin, because what, what's important right now? If you're going to buy an altcoin, you want it to be an altcoin that's going to outpace Bitcoin. Or, what's the point of buying it? You know what I mean? I'll just buy Bitcoin if that's the case. Well, I go to Ethereum Bitcoin and take a look at this, okay? Take a look at this, okay? And I, th I think this is this is something that I, I'm going to start looking at more. We don't do the we don't do this enough on stream, okay? We just kind of focus on the the ETH, like the like the altcoin USD pair, which is cool. But I think it's important to look at the the, the Bitcoin pairs. And I'm looking at Ethereum uh, Bitcoin here. This looks sexy. This looks sexy. Now you might say, Jordan, it's it's been bleeding against Bitcoin. It looks like shit. Yes, but it's also at a level, okay, where where it, it's it's historically had massive runs against Bitcoin, right? So just take a look. I mean, like I said, I'm just sh I'm showing you what I see. It's all I can do is I can show you what I see. You know what I mean? So you got Ethereum, Bitcoin, October 2019. We came into this level. And then it had multiple months where it just absolutely flew out, flew out against Bitcoin. Okay, uh, we we kind of dumped below this in September 2020. We got back above, 
we tested this, and that was the point where Ethereum Classic went on a massive run against Bitcoin, okay? And then we came back down here again in June of 2022, which obviously you guys can see that once again, Ethereum Classic had a massive run against Bitcoin, okay? Now look where we're at back at again. We're back at that level after a year of bleed down, okay? Which we've done multiple times in the past, you can see it. So now we're back down at this level for Ethereum Bitcoin, and this is why I'm willing to take a risk on this one, but just, just know <laughs> that we can easily break this to the downside if Bitcoin takes a shit, okay? But I'm taking a risk here, okay? And I, as always, it's I put my mouth, my, my money where my mouth is, and I'll tell you guys when I'm going to buy something, okay? Um, and I did buy some Ethereum Classic today. So short term, if it goes down 5%, 10%, whatever, I don't really care about the short, like the immediate short term, um, but... Uh, this is the reason why I picked some Ethereum Classic today over some other ones. You might be saying, Jordan, why didn't you buy Cardano or Solana or Matic? To be honest, those pairs against Bitcoin kind of look like poo-poo. <laughs> they just, they're, they're not at any important levels. So this is why I'm, I'm an ETH, uh, ETH Bitcoin, man. So that's my take for today. That's my take. Just wanted to show you guys. And I, I, I want to be transparent of when I'm buying something. And, and this, this is when I'm buying some ETH Classic. I hope you enjoyed the presentation of why Jordan bought some Ethereum Classic. Round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and I know you guys will shit on me for it, right? You guys will say, oh, Jordan's buying Ethereum Classic. What an idiot. It's a, sh it's a dino coin. It's a shit coin. All right, we'll see you in a few weeks. Let's see you in a few weeks, brothers. All right? um anyways so that is that now we wait for bitcoin let's, let's get some hype for bitcoin man we need we need some hype in bitcoin um let's get this shit now let's let's get this shit man let's get some hype going for bitcoin because if we can get bitcoin to pump everything's gonna freaking go up and that's much better than having to freaking look through the rough and see which coins are gonna do better <laughs> i mean i'd rather bitcoin just moon and everything go up all right, let's 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 get this shit rolling, man. We need some hype for Bitcoin, man. 400 likes, we're doing it. We're doing a membership giveaway. Let's get this shit. Man. All right, let's get this shit. Let's do this. Like it. We must get this next like for Bitcoin. We want everything to pump. I don't care what you are, a Bitcoin Nazi. He's Maxi. He's all Maxi. Get him a jack right now. And spam the goddamn like button. Swords and shield emojis in the chat now. Get in here. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, man. Uh, yeah, shout out to everyone who's hanging out today. I'm hoping we can get... Um, it would be awesome, man. I, I, we haven't had an Asia move in a while. I can't remember the last time we had an Asia move, guys. Like, this is ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't get it. I talk so good about Chinese food, man. I, I talk so good about General Gao, so good about rice, but, you know, I don't know what it is. The Asians don't want to pump Bitcoin when I'm on stream. They only want to do it after or before. <laughs> so the only thing we can do is pray and hope that they will come out of nowhere and they'll start doing it for us, man. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. Let's get this shit. Uh, Crypto Outlaws of Cardanzo Maxi, man. Just like um, just like Jim Cramer, man. The Cardanzo Maxi. Holy swords. <laughs> Not that many swords, man. Holy shit. That was way too many swords, bro. <laughs> like, like, holy shit. I just saw the whole chat fill up with swords. That was fantastic, guys. Anyways, man. Um, you know, just kind of working it out here for Bitcoin, guys. It, 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 it is fantastic. Um, what's everyone up to right now, man? Any, any coins you guys are accumulating right now? Every, anything you guys are doing, you're seeing that I'm not seeing? If you see some good Bitcoin pairs, let me know, guys. I'm, I'm always... I always like to look at the ETH, Bit, uh, well, not ETH Bitcoin pairs, but 
um, the altcoin Bitcoin pair. So those are some of my favorite charts to look at, right? Because I think so, like that's where that real alpha is, right? The real alpha is actually looking at the at the pairs of the coins versus Bitcoin, and that that's really where you find um, the cool stuff, bro. So th this was my favorite one of today, um, but I'm sure there's many out there. If you guys can find some really good like like ETH. Uh, you know, altcoin bitcoin pairs that are at support let me know man give it to me in the discord give me it to me on twitter um I, I i love i just love looking at those man i love looking at those i'm long on link nice dude yeah i bought some link the other day link link is one that i did pick up because link uh link is showing some strength so link link is just showing beautiful white off accumulation man it's it's absolutely phenomenal. Link the slink, which is has been an absolute slink for a year. <laughs> we need to get this thing moving, dude. This thing's moving like freaking horse guy after he just FOMO'd and lost all his money. Now he's sad as shit. You know what I'm saying? But we got the beautiful white off in here for, for chain link, man. It's really just the first low, the second low, the spring face. And now we're looking to uh, you know, get get that move up, but yeah, man. For me, you know, if I, if I can scoop up Chainlink anywhere near the bottom of this zone, uh, that, that's a good buy. Especially now that you reclaim back in the range, showing some strength by the bulls. Absolutely fantastic, dude. Yeah, so Chainlink's one that I picked up. Anderson said Ave. Let's look at Ave, man. I know Ave got a big pump up yesterday. Um, Ave's got a, Ave's just got this nice kind of range too. Like these are my favorite alts the alts that have this beautiful range where you can just try to get as close to as possible in there if you like it uh let me look at ave ave btc i'm curious anderson said it looks good ave btc let's see um get some bullish divergence actually popping up there um you're at the Let's see i mean you're at like the Sept like the september and october lows um so this one i mean if you got you got to think okay this is an this is a relatively important zone right there you know what i mean my question is for this one like um which i, I guess you can make the case for anything but my question would be with this is it's at an important level, and I think that's why you saw a really good reaction the other day. You saw a massive short squeeze. What was it, yesterday? Like, Ave pumped, like, what, 20-something percent yesterday? And that's probably why you saw that nice reaction there. But, like, this, this is a big level, critical level to hold, man. You know, because if this one goes, this one could see um, some, some, def some definite carnage to the downside <coughs> if this level goes. But, hey, if there's a level to take a chance, you know, like, this is where you would want to take a chance. You know what I mean, and then and then obviously if, if things don't work out, right? Um, you know, you, you can kind of you can kind of cut the loss, right? But yeah, man, I, this is interesting level right there for sure. Like this zone right there, dude. But <laughs> this one's got a lot of downside if that, if that level breaks <laughs> against BTC. You know what I mean? So just 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 keep that in mind right there. <laughs> you're really uh, you're really pushing the boundaries there on that one uh he said <laughs> brian said dump it no we don't want it we don't want to do that to my guy anderson man listen i want everything to go up dude if i had if i had a choice i'd want every single thing to go up even bitcoin cash now i'm even a fan of bitcoin cash you know how much i hated bitcoin cash i hated bitcoin cash and litecoin and now i'm a light corner and a bitcoin cash because <laughs> one of the things i learned about this market is that the coins that everyone hates eventually they end up doing the best <laughs> And it, it couldn't be more true with Bitcoin Cash the last few weeks. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? No one would have thunk it. That's why it probably happened. Because everyone was short. Um, a Juawi said, I'm Mexican and we never eat enchiladas hardly. Really, dude? Oh, my God. Okay. Well, it, I guess it's an American Mexican dish. You know what I mean? I mean, there's a reason... Wow, people really don't like chimichangas, huh? It's really the taco party. I'm, I'm cool. I mean, I like tacos, dude. I mean, I eat at least tacos once a week, at least, if not multiple times a week. So I'm not, I'm not hating on the taco brigade, but we got 29% burritos. I'm not hanging, hating on the burrito parade either. I guess if I had to, if I had to order it for me, like if I'm just sitting down and I don't give a shit about health, 
<laughs> Obviously, there's two ways you can order something. If you care about health and you don't, right, at, at that current time. If I don't care about health at that current time, I'm going enchilada, tacos, burritos, chimichangas. If I care about health at that current time, I'm probably going tacos, burritos, enchiladas, chimichangas. <laughs> That's probably my order. It, de it depends on what I'm trying to do at the time. You know, if it's a cheat meal, F, you know, F it, man. I'm going enchiladas, dude. Those things are just so cheesy and saucy and, oh, my God, man. I can just eat those all day. It's absolutely fantastic. Let me tell you, dude. Let me tell you. <clears throat> Hit that like, said Ajuwabi. Thank you, man. I don't know if I'm saying your, your name right, man. I'm saying Aju, Aju, Ajumawi. Aju, 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 Ajumawi. I'm trying to say it right, dude. I feel bad. I feel bad because I'm horrible at saying names. Uh, Mr. Miles said enchiladas date all the way back to the Aztecs. For real, dude? Damn. I, 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 no wonder why I like them. I, I know my history. You know what I'm saying? I know my history. I, I, I knew that, Mr. Miles. Just kidding. I had, I had no idea that was the case. But now it makes sense because now that means that, the, that, that now that they're such an old dish, they really put the time and effort into that dish. So now it makes sense why enchiladas are so good if they date all the way back to the freaking Aztecs. Holy guacamole. No pun intended, because, you know, we also put guacamole in Mexican dishes, you know what I'm saying? No, no pun intended. Anyways, what's some other stuff we got? Um, what's some other stuff? We're kind of just chilling out here. Let's see. Hit those likes. Thank you, Griff. Thank you, Griff. Yeah, you guys are killing it, man. You guys are shilling the shit out of the likes. Uh, Mr. Griff gave away a membership, though. Shout, shout out to Mr. Griff, dude. Strap up. We're going, going to the moon. moon. Here we go. What's some other, um, you know, I guess what we can do here. Um, the issue is, like, overall, I still think dominance is going up. So, like, find, finding, like, the needle in the haystack of the altcoin that's going to outpace Bitcoin is very hard. <laughs> like, it's not easy to do. You really got to be digging in those charts and finding the ones that are at, like, perfect levels, dude. Um, and I, I was digging through a lot of them today and a lot of them, like, you know, if I'm just being completely 100% transparent, you know, like if we just go to like, you know, we, we say, you know, um, you know, everyone of likes Cardano, right? Let's bring up ADA BTC, All right? If we just look at this, I don't know, man, this thing, this thing looks like it's got lower to go. You know what I mean? Like this doesn't look like it's gonna stop right here, right? So like A to B, A to BTC, I guess maybe you can make a standpoint where like th this is kind of a trend line and you kind of get a bounce off this right here, right? One, two, three, maybe you get a little bit of bounce off this trend line coming in right around here. I mean, you could argue that maybe that's the law. I mean, you could argue it actually, now that I'm looking at this. Now, now that I'm looking at this, maybe, maybe. But if you want to be like an absolute, like just absolute ruthless and say, okay, does Cardano have to come all the way back down to the low down here? <laughs> you know what I mean? And listen, if Bitcoin dominance is going to go up, you would think that A to BTC is going to come all the way back down here. And to, I don't know, look at some other ones. Like what's another famous one? Solana BTC? Look at Sol BTC. Um, Sol BTC... I don't know. I mean, like, uh, there's not really an important level. I'd say Soul BTC. You're looking at this peak at least, right? At this point, no. Which is not that much lower, to be honest. Like, you, you, you you're not, you're not talking magnitudes lower here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what is this? This is maybe. I mean, twenty percent, twenty percent, but twenty percent Soul BTC. And that doesn't mean Sol will go down in price. It just means that Bitcoin will go up more if, if Bitcoin goes up, which we already expect anyways, right? So maybe Sol BTC gets a bounce off that peak right there. You know, that, that's definitely a possible spot. Uh, I'm just kind of digging through some of these. It's another popular one. Matic. Matic BTC. Let's take a look. Matic BTC actually is at the range lows or like close to the range low. You could argue it still has 
a little bit lower to go there at Matic BTC. But if you just look at Matic BTC like this, I don't know. It, it, did we stop right there? Is that it? Like, <laughs> did we stop there? Or is this actually filling this all this inequality right here? You know what I mean? It, that's the big question right now. It's like, okay, you're getting close to these, which is about, you know, another 15% to that previous support level. But if that goes, you got a long way down to go. You know, and you, you'll notice that on many different altcoin charts, it's like it's either only like another 15 to 20 percent or it's way lower. Right. So just keep keep an eye on these. Like, make sure you're looking if you own an altcoin, make sure you're pay, like you got to pay attention to the, bit, the the Bitcoin pairs. you got to because if your altcoin breaks down on a Bitcoin pair, it's kind of it's like pointless to hold that you know, at the end of the day, you know, um, but pay attention to this. If you own Matic, pay attention to that level for sure. Automatic right there. Uh, Mr. Miles, yeah, man, put it in the chat, man. If you want me to look at some, just let me know. Just put it in the chat. We're just, I'm just kind of hanging out today. There's not too much new to talk about today, man. It's just Bitcoin, Bitcoin working it out, working it out, working it out, working it out. That's all we're doing today. Uh, <clears throat> looks tradable. Yeah, it's a nice little range. <laughs> like, it's a nice range to play, right? So, like, if, if Matic comes back down here, hey, man, that that's that that might be a point where maybe you take a chance. Take a little bit of a chance on Matic right there, you know? But those are the type of areas where you want to look for and say, man, if I'm going to buy Matic, it's going to be at this level right here, you know? Um, what's another one? Doge. Doge is a fun one. Let's look at Doge BTC. So Doge, the Doge, the ultimate Doge is actually Doge. Doge, okay, okay. Doge is an interesting one too. We know Doge is kind of a dino coin too. And if you look at Doge, it's at like, it's breaking down from this previous low. But look at this, dude. You got, I mean, you're coming up to like these highs. Like, so you have this high, this high, and this high. You're coming up to that, you know what I mean? So the Doge, it's like, it's either kind of holds the line at these highs or you're effed, <laughs> one of the two, you know what I mean? Um, so Doge is another interesting one where it's like, okay, maybe you got a little bit lower, you know, 15, 20%, but then you kind of got to see, you're going to hold the line there, you know? But the Doge is that interesting point too. If that doesn't hold, I mean, you're looking all the way back probably here at like 10, <laughs> you know? Like way back down here at like 10, shit. <clears throat> let's see hector said vra btc ah dude i was actually looking at veracity today veracity veracity is it i like I actually like vra dude i was actually that's funny i actually was looking at that today dude veracity um this is not a good chart vra btc oh come on give me a good one dude is there a better chart q coin there we go yeah i was looking at this today man and I was like, dude, you got this nice level right here. Like these nice highs coming in right in here. Right in here. This is one I was taking a peek at today. <laughs> that is that is too funny, dude. Uh, where I was like, okay, here we are, Veracity BTC. Right? It, it's kind of do or die time in here. You know what I mean? Like it, it's kind of at these previous peaks against BTC. If it's going to get a move, it makes sense. It got a move right here last time. You know what I mean? Like, is, is this going to be the point where it gets that bounce? Or are we going to see significantly lower? That That's the fun, <laughs> that's the interesting part in crypto, right? But uh, you're kind of right back at support. I, I, I was actually, I, I want to see a little bit more out of this one, right? But, you know, that's always the famous last words. When you say, hey, I want to I wait for a little bit more against this one. That's when <laughs> you get effed <laughs> and it already pops <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, but, you know, if, if this one continues to kind of just hold in here for a little bit, maybe just does like something like this. Actually, like VRA is an interesting one too. If it can just hold the line in here, not too bad, not too bad. But we'll see. We'll see. Obviously, like it, it's, um, it is what it is. <laughs> Miles asking, asking for cast and coming. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> That is true. Elliot said it will pump. Oh, Elliot, you like you like veracity, huh, dude? 
I know there's a I know there's a lot of VRA fans. VRA, the problem with VRA is it, it's such a low cap crypto, man. Like the problem with that one, I think it's what 40 million 40 billion, no, 40 million dollar market cap. So that one can just get absolutely destroyed if Bitcoin dumps. So that one's very risky. Um anything that's lower than like 500 mil, I mean, that one's going to be volatile as shit. So um, but yeah, this is one I'm keeping an eye on for sure. I, I actually, I want to accumulate some BT, some VRA, uh, before the halving and, you know, <laughs> you know, funny enough, I mean, we're, you know, the halving at this point is getting close, you know, not, you think 10 months is a long time, but that goes by very, very fast. So at a run, we're, as we get closer to that, like this is one of them that I'm looking at for sure. And I'm going to start looking at some of these lower cap ones, the further we get along this year. All right, get towards the end of this year and things are still sitting at these levels. I'm definitely I'm definitely going to be scooping that one for sure. If it, if it still does everything it's supposed to be doing, which, you know, in, in crypto a lock and change in 6 months, we know that. We know that, dude. Uh Let's see. What is Asia going to do? Dude, let's get Asia. I don't know. I, I Bitcoin's kind of just in a channel, right? It's just up, down, up, down, up, down. So I, I think it makes sense right now to at least test the top of this little channel here, right? That'd be cool. Makes sense too. You get the stocks pointing up, getting the green dot there. Market cipher on the four hour, on the one hour, four hours actually starting to flip back over. You actually had uh, some nice bullish divergence here, right? You had lower lows today on the price and you had higher lows in price action right there. So you had some nice one hour bullish divergence as well. And that's why, you know, I, I looked at Bitcoin and I said, okay, here we go. Uh, ETH came to my, my long level and I took a nice long on Ethereum there, which I'm still in. I'm still in that ETH long. So I'm still kind of hoping Bitcoin comes up higher here, which it's slowly creeping up like a little slug. It reminds me of right here. You guys, remember, remember on Saturday night or yeah, Saturday night. I was up late that night <laughs> just watching Bitcoin come up here. All coins were going berserk that night, right? And then it kind of was just like slowly creeping up. Then all of a sudden it just freaking started to blast off there. Kind of reminded me right there, actually. Just a, that slow kind of molasses move, which is just slow as molasses. <laughs> I don't know. I never had molasses. What does molasses taste like? Maj, you ever had molasses? Mm -hmm. What the frick does molasses taste like? I, I just have a... No, it's like... It's almost like honey, but it's like thick. I feel like molasses would just taste like absolute dog shit <laughs> i don't know why any of you guys ate molasses i i i don't know i don't i don't know why uh i'm gonna eat molasses shit winter days said keep hoping bro i'm gonna i'm gonna keep hoping bro i'll pray guys this guy in the chat told me to hope and pray here we go here we go <sighs> bitcoin will you please just go up i know you're up 100 percent this year and I know the bears are really, really praying to you to really, really pump, uh, to dump Bitcoin. They're all, they've all been laddering in their shorts since 20K and they're all in cash. But I beg you, let's get one more pump, right? To flip all the bears bullish. And when all the bears flip bullish, that's when you can do it to them, okay? And that's when we can have the dump. So thank you. Thank you so much. Let's have a moment of silence here for the bears who are continuing to ladder in their shorts and continue to, well, hope that the economy is going to dump Bitcoin. Here we go. Thank you. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, Woods of Water said, I'm the last bear. I don't know if you're the last bear, man. I think there's a lot of bears. I think there's a lot of bears in the chat, which, I mean, define being a bear. You can be a bear in the short term and be a bull in the big time frames, right? You can be a bear on the one hour, bullish on the four hour, bearish on the daily, bullish on the weekly, right? You can be bearish and bullish on different time frames at the end of the day. Right now, I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm feeling pretty bullish on every time frame. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to lie, like, I'm pretty bullish on the short term. I still think there's a possibility we still could come a little bit lower here to test like the 29K regions. Um, I, I never rule that out. And if we do, that's fine. 
Um, I, I'm feeling pretty bullish on the on the short term, on the medium term, and on the long term. <laughs> like, to be honest, I mean, it is what it is. Um, that, that's that, that's just that's just how that's how the cookie crumbles. You know what I'm saying? Miss the heart said crab. Yeah, man, it's it's the, it's the crab market tonight. That's for sure. Uh, Ice sniper was a bear. That dude <laughs> disappeared. Hey, man, listen, it, it is what it is. Like we we're, uh, we all get things wrong sometimes, right? That the, the best thing you can learn then do is learn from what you did wrong, right? No one's right a hundred percent of the time. And I always like to say this. If anyone ever tells you or acts like they're right on every single thing, you should be skeptical of that person because no one is right 100% of the time. You know this, right? Think of all the smartest people you know that are, you know talk about whatever they talk about. Have they, have they ever been right all the time? Hell no. But the thing is learning from that, right? And not making that same mistake twice and getting better and better and better and better and better at what you do, right? Getting better at being able to spot where something's gonna pump. Even better, be able to spot where a top might be in, right? Just being better, look, looking for those signs, learning the signs, right? You know, and and that's all you can do is learn that shit, right? Learn that, learn the cycles. Learning the Bitcoin cycles is the most important thing, dude. You can get the Bitcoin cycles down for like as as an investor and someone who just likes to hodl. I mean, that's all you really need to know at this point. You know what I mean? Um, that's really all you need to know at this point, dude. You know, and just have patience. Sit on your hands while everyone likes to freak out about every little freaking move. <laughs> sit on your damn hands and freaking wait. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's what we've done all year, man. It's like everyone freaks out about every single little damn move. One day we're red, one day we're green. Sit on your hands. You probably outperform most people. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Kramer's inverse right now, 100% of the time. Is Kramer bullish or bearish? I know he was bearish on Cardanzo and Solanzo. To be fair, he actually, he actually, uh, when, did, when did he get bearish on Cardano and Solanzo? I think he got bearish. Um, I don't know. I don't know when he got bearish. I don't know when he got bearish. Um, I don't know. I'm keeping an eye on ETC here, by the way. As I did say, I, I did pick up some ETC today. Um, so I'm keeping an eye on this for show. Sure. Um, BCH is still kind of just chilling at resistance. Once again, guys, be careful. Don't, you know, I, I know it's tempting to buy something that that's, you know, trust me, like as much as someone tells you not to buy something, you see something that's up 150% in like three days, you want to buy it. <laughs> just be, don't, don't buy into resistance, man. That's the worst thing you can do. Um, that is literally, that's like literally the worst thing you can do is buy something into resistance. Like even if it works out for you, the problem is like if you buy something at resistance and it works, you're going to think that always works and you're going to do it again. And then the next time you're going to get burnt. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like sometimes it works, but like, okay, if you get into habit of that, you're going to get absolutely destroyed. You know, that's, that's the problem, man. Anyways. What do you guys say here? Christopher Reeds. Jordan, thanks for the entertainment, my guy. Any predictions for for Myron? Let's look, man. Oh, by the way, I like this meme. This is my favorite meme. <laughs> this, this goes out to all my bears out there. This goes... We got, we got, we got someone having a party outside. Anyways, this is my, this is my favorite meme out, out here right now. Babe! <laughs> I love this, dude. I, I love this. I, this one gets me every single time because it's so true. It's so true, man. When you're a bear and uh, <laughs> you're a bear and you just don't understand why price just keeps going up. It doesn't make any sense, right? It's like, why does the price keep going up? How does it keep getting better? The economy's shitty. We're at resistance. Like, Gensler's attacking crypto. Why does the price keep going up? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's so true, dude. When it, when it just makes sense. If you listen to the news, you would think Bitcoin's at 8K at the current moment. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how it kind of works. <laughs> uh, at some point, we'll flip this around. We'll turn we'll turn this bear into a bull. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my other meme that I like is this one. <laughs> 
if this was you, I, I, I'm sorry. I, thank you for your sacrifice. We needed your buy liquidity at 25K. So thank you. Uh, Dad, why, do, why don't we have any Bitcoin? I sold it all to BlackRock at 25K. And then the son says, put me up for adoption, please. Oh, man. That, come on, dude. Come on. Even, even if this was you, you know, shout out to you. Your kid now wants to go up for adoption because you sold all your Bitcoin to BlackRock at 25K. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. Strap up. We're going to the moon. <laughs> Shout out to you. Those are my two favorite memes today. I, sometimes I like, I, dude, I love these. I love these memes, dude. And then, uh, you know, when the market does correct, all the bears can can, can come and show the uh, show the bearish memes. <laughs> Which th those ones are funny too, man. They're all funny, to be fair. Uh, let's see. Brian said it's manipulation. It all makes sense. It is. George, can you please put Cycle Pearl on timeout? I can't put Cycle Pearl on timeout. He's the homie, man. We can't be doing that. We definitely can't be doing that. Uh, let me look at Myron for, for my guy Chris here. I think that's Myrin? From Myren? Chris, I, I, I don't even know what that is, bro. <laughs> like, it, it doesn't pop up on TradingView. I don't think that's a coin. The only reason I typed it in is I'm like, okay, it must be something. You type in any three-letter acronym, it's got to be something on TradingView nowadays. Like, damn. It's got to be something, dude. Uh, it's manipulation. It's manipulation. <laughs> Brian, you sound like horse guy, bro. Why are we moving up? I sure did. The SEC attacking altcoins. It makes no sense. We should be dumping. This is manipulation by CZ. That's what you sound like, Brian. It's all, dude. The, 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 the sooner you realize that every chart you look at is manipulation, who do you think moves the market? It's all manipulation. Every chart you look at is damn manipulation. You could bring up the most random shit coin. The person who holds the most coins is manipulating that price the way he wants to manipulate it. Go to any market, stock market. They're manipulating. You don't think that's manipulated? That's manipulated the shit out of. <clears throat> Whether they manipulate it by news, um, right? Uh, to get plebs to sell lows and, and plebs to buy highs based on bullish and bearish news. Or uh, it's by them actually, you know, shorting and longing things to move move price the way they want to. It's all manipulated, man. And I guess the sooner you come to realize that, the sooner you're just like, okay, it's manipulated. Ha, 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 ha. How can we how can we take advantage of the manipulated market? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it is what it is. Oh man. When me stop being manipulated. Oh Lord. Oh Myron Myron the wit the witch? I don't know. I haven't seen what she said in a long time. I think the last thing I I've seen that she said was it was um, something about Jupiter and Venus and them combining and everything changing, which it, I think that is funny enough. I think that was like sometime down here. It was like the, the, the beginning of June, which it makes sense that it kind of everything changed and Bitcoin went from like the slow bleed and just absolutely just, uh, you know, went nuts to the upside, dude. You know, Dan said lies. This is natural price action. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Mike said I think horse guy took out Jabba and Bob just to get more screen time true he did he did he did man I listen they're all they're all getting killed off <laughs> like they they, they they just slowly get killed off one by one by one you know and it, it is a sad day you know we, we can play the funeral if you guys want like at this point it is what it is you know like we, we, we can't change it at this point Come on, Bitcoin. Why are you slowly creeping up like a slug? Like, this is brutal, bro. You know what? Let's play the funeral. You know, let, let, let's see some happy faces. Shout out to Scott. Scott Clinton. It's the daily close. 
It's the daily close, guys. Let's go take a look at the daily close. So Bitcoin closed at 30,268. Uh, um, you know, kind of just holding up at near the highs here. So we wick down to 30K today. Actually, not a bad close considering that we got a little bit of a dumper um this morning. So that's about where we at, guys. I think at this moment, like if we bring up, let's go to like the daily over here. I just want to see where we're at over here. Um, let me go over to like the three day. I'm curious what we look at the three day. We, have, we do have a little bit of bearish divergence on like the high time frames. Like the three day has a little bit of bearish divergence. So I guess keep an eye on that. The, the, the reason why I'm not that, you know, overly, you know, worried about that is just the ferocity of the, of the, of the move up in the last week. You know, if it was like kind of a slow move, I'd be like, okay, this is ridiculous. But the veracity of the move, the the veracity, the velocity of the move up, insane, right? So it's hard for me to be bearish, especially when you got, you know, your momentum indicators flipping um, back to the upside as you bounce off an important moving average. So we do have some bear divs, um, which is basically said like, okay, if, even if we get a pull back down to like 28.5, that's cool. Um, anything down to there would be fine. You just don't want to be breaking below 28.5. So for me, any 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 dip into here is for, for me personally, buying and longing. Um, we break below here. That's where we that's where we start to get a little bit skeptical of this initial move up because now you've broken these highs and now you're back down here and that's where it would look kind of ugly. So I think right now it's it's you're just chopping around. We're just seeing if we can break through that uh, resistance. But I do think we eventually will. And I wouldn't be surprised, you know, over the course of the next week, we see Bitcoin up here at 32,400. Uh, and we're all out here saying, don't want to buy that, 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 because we're all buying the corn. You know what I'm saying? Uh, up here at 32,400. I think that's actually, when, when you start seeing Bitcoin break this, I think that's when you're going to see a lot of the bears start to flip bull is when you get up to this $32,400 mark. Because I know a, re a lot, big reason why a lot of people aren't bullish is because you're still below these weekly lows. Um, but if you start breaking back above those, you're going to see a lot of people who've been bearish this whole year and the whole move up um, start to flip onto the bull side. And, and that's where we got to, you know, the, the more we move up here, the more we got to be careful because more and more people are going to be flipping bullish. All right. And we know the closer we get up to my, my eventual target here, that's when you're going to listen. <laughs> I, I already told you guys this. When we get up here, you guys are going to hate me. I'm telling you, you're going to hate me. You're going to do it. And, and, and you guys are going to say, Jordan, you're not very nice. And I'm just going to say, I'm just telling you my honest opinion based off what happens on the previous cycles. So the closer we get up here, you're going to hear more bullish news. You're going to hear more, this is bullish, that's bullish. Bitcoin's going to new all-time high this year. You're going to start hearing that shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> the closer we get up here, right? And that's when you got to get skeptical, right? Remember this now, right? Don't get tricked. Just like at the lows when FTX imploded and there's going to be contagion. Contagion everywhere. Contagion. What happened to the contagion? There was no contagion. So as we start to approach up here, just be wary of the uber bullish news and the uber bullish moon boy calls by the, the, the typical channels, right? So j just just be wary of that. Yo, shout out to Dan, who got five gifted memberships. Shout out to Dan, man. How many likes we got? I want to do a gifted membership. Shit. I'm going to do five. We got it at 400 likes, though. 245? Come on, man. Let's get, those, let's get those likes up, man. We need another 150 likes to get up to that region, guys. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Um, let's see. Let's see. Exactly. Uh, Roasted said, not going to lie, all this bullishness feels similar to the time BTC was at 65K. Bro, there's no bullishness right now. <laughs> like, I don't know what, I don't know what, what pipe you're smoking, bro. No one's bullish. <laughs> like, this ain't anything like 2021. If you were around in 2021, you would know that this ain't nothing like 2021. Dude, all the altcoins are basically at the lows. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's nothing euphoric about the market right now. You know what I mean? Like, like <laughs> I, I, I keep hearing that on Twitter too. It's like, oh my God, everyone's euphoric. And I'm like, dude, 
Okay, Bitcoin's at 30K, but all the altcoins are literally crushed <laughs> to the lows, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing bullish. Um, this is not a euphoric market at all. Anyways, the fear and greed. What do we got? We're at a 59 on the fear and greed. So 59 on the fear and greed index. Um, that that is that is you know fine. I mean, not 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 too greedy where it's like oh my god this is crazy. Um, let's see. Happy birthday! Thank you, thank you, man. Thank you, dude. Uh, yo, shout out to Alan. He said Bitcoin went to 138k. <clears throat> And Mike said, if Jordan is giving away memberships, prepare for him to walk at the other end of the apartment to get important paperwork again. <laughs> Facts, dude. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to hit me hit 400 today. We got 474 peeps in here today. <laughs> Slow crowd in here today, which I, I don't get it, man. Like, listen, I I, um, I get the, I guess the market's kind of boring, but shit, man. We're at, uh, at 30,231, man. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Bitcoin went to 138. Think Bitcoin's going to 138, Alan. It could. It certainly could, dude. It certainly could. It's not my birthday. Every day is my every day is my birthday, man. Every day is my birthday, bro. <laughs> uh nah, like I think we said back in 2021 that literally every single day was gonna be my birthday, you know? So that's about where we're at. Yosef said the end of 2020 and 2021 was epic. True. Very, very true. <clears throat> very, very true, man. The end of 2021 and 2021 was absolutely insane. <laughs> like, <laughs> you had uh, it's just absolute ins insanity in the markets, dude. Absolute insanity. Like, it, it, you you would only know if, if you were there. This isn't not, This isn't anything. This is... I think like this isn't even anything close to euphoric. Like this is everyone's depressed still. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this ain't anywhere near euphoric. Everyone's depressed. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, we're still kind of just waiting in here. Like I said, the, the, the short term time frames on Bitcoin, guys. We got so we got bullish divergence, so we already saw a slight move up. We had lower lows on price, higher higher lows in price action, or higher higher lows in market cipher. So. We got some bullish divergence. I am expecting a move up for the corn. We've already kind of seen a slight move up. It's a very slow move up at the current moment. Very, very slow. Um, but let me tell you, that's kind of what I'm expecting. Ethereum, if you missed uh, this morning stream, uh, Ethereum, I did take along from that white box. Uh, I'm looking for it to get back up into the white box um, and, and sort of I mean, it get, gets back into the white box, basically just looking for it to test uh, 1936 back up to the upside. And that, that's kind of what I'm playing right at the moment, man. And there isn't like, it's like, oh my God, let's look at, let's look at every time frame, every indicator, you know, it's, I guess for me, it's not that, um, if you try, you try to make it that crazy, it's not, it's not really important to be looking at it that crazy, man. Anyways, uh, Bitcoin continues to wipe off and, uh, man, I, I think this next move could be very, very exciting, extremely exciting for the corn. Um, I think I think this is when everyone's gonna really start really feeling bullish. I think right now everyone still has bear market PTSD, including myself. We all have bear market PTSD. We're almost like shit, man. I don't want to, you know, like what if this thumbs back down again? What if this bumps back down again? Um, I really do think this next move is gonna really make everyone super bullish, and that's when I'm gonna get a little bit hesitant as we start to move up. That's where I'm actually gonna be starting to get a little bit more bearish as everyone starts getting more bullish. And um, yeah, so th th that's the kind of work on that. But this has worked to an absolute T, man. Absolute freaking T. It's been absolutely beautiful, and uh, it's been it's been a beauty to watch this play out over the course of time, dude. You know, and, and uh, just remember, like all these lows of this of this move, FTX crash marked the low, banking crisis marked the low, Binance being sued marked the low. Just remember for the next time there's FUD, guys. I, I think this is one of the things you got to remember. Next time there's FUD, just remember that the FUD marks the lows, okay? The FUD marks the lows. I don't want it. Next time I see FUD, I don't want to see like, oh my God, Bitcoin's over. It's going back down to 10K. I don't want to hear that, okay? Tell me that when Bitcoin is, is, is going up and it's hitting a resistance or something, right? Uh, not the low. So 
you know, it's, it's been a beauty. I think, you know, as Bitcoin starts to come back up, there's going to be something else. Um, there's going to be something else that comes out that's bearish and everyone's going to get bearish again. It's going to come back down, right? And then it's, everyone's going to get bearish again, calling for new lows. And it's, <laughs> it's going to hold again and come back up. Um, but, you know, we slowly start to make way back up. And, um, you know, once again, everyone's kind of calling for these, you know, massive moves. And it's really just been a staircase up, man. It's been up, move, pull back, up, move, pull back, up, move, pull back. Ready for the next leg. It's probably going to be another pullback. And uh, we eventually hit that target, man, which we've been looking at all year, right? All year, all year, all year. I've always said, like, all you had to do this whole year was just sit on your hands on Bitcoin, and you didn't have to do shit. Like, just sit on your hands. You made 2x on the corn. So I think I think it's going to continue to be that way, man. It's, it's, it's been absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal as uh, you just get your typical retrace from high to low. Right up there to the typical retracement levels, man. It's phenomenal, man. Phenomenal. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Jordan's selling the bottom. Pump it. Bottom. Pump it. Let's get this, man. Uh, let's see. Let's, did I already end the poll? I already did end the poll. Yo, shout out to Dan. Shout out to Dan as always, man. Dan the man with the five memberships, bro. Dan the man always coming in, dude. <laughs> Dan always watching the damn stream, dude. Dan the man watching the stream. Shout out to Franco. Shout out to Mike. Shout out to Psycho Pearl. Shout out to freaking Woods and Water. Shout out to Anderson. Shout out to Asian Elliot J. Roasted Garlic Berry. I like your name, man. Roasted Garlic Berry. You're making me hungry, dude. Master's Lesson. Shout out to Master's Lesson. Shout out to Mummy. Mummy565. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yo, Alan became a me moon member. Shout out to Alan, man. Holy guacamole, dude. Strap up. We're Shout going to, to you, the man. moon. Shout out to you. We got 279 likes, guys. We got to get 100 more. We got this, man. 100 more. Shout out to Alan, though. Shout out to Handleton. Handleton's the homie. He's always one of the first ones in the chat. Shout out to Bath. Bath's taking a nap and waking up again. <laughs> Bath took like three naps today somehow. Shout out to Bath. David said, when alt season? Uh, to be honest, man, I, listen, if you want honesty, do you want honesty or hopium? <laughs> Pick. Honesty, hopium. Which one do we want? <laughs> you want honesty? I don't think I don't think we're going to be getting alt season for quite a bit. Uh, now, there'll be specific altcoins that, that do well. I, I just don't think we're gonna you're gonna see that altcoin season that you're looking for, which is, listen, the altcoin season everyone's looking for, dude. I don't know about you, but when I buy an altcoin for a long term hold, I want to see at least a 10x. You know what I'm saying? Anything less than a 10x is a waste of my damn time. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, if you want honesty, I don't think we're seeing that um, altcoin season um, until until we see Bitcoin dominance go up a little bit more, and um, Bitcoin gets gets where it typically does, which it's when Bitcoin gets close to all-time highs. Um, but it doesn't mean that, you know, alts won't go up too. It's just that you won't see the altcoin season, right? Um, <clears throat> alts will stay down at least for a year at least. Yeah, I mean, th I think they'll just be range-bound. doesn't mean they're going to go lower. It just means that they're probably just going to be range-bound for a while. Uh, where the, we're like, okay, Bitcoin will get a pump. Altcoins will get a pump. Bitcoin will get a, cr a slight correction. All coins will go back, all the way back down, <laughs> right? And just kind of rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Like I said, there'll, there'll be some altcoins that do well, dude. Like you've already seen some altcoins do very, very well. But I think it's going to continue to be the Bitcoin show. Even, even, dude, even Ethereum, which you guys know I love ETH, man. Even Ethereum's been struggling as of late. Ethereum can catch no bid, dude. It's been crazy, which it's cool, man. I mean, that, that's what we expect at this time is uh, a little bit of a bid from, uh, <laughs> from, <laughs> From uh, from the corn, dude. Let's see. 2025 will be a big year. Hell yeah, 2025. I think 2024 will be a big year too. And let's be honest, 2023 has been a good year too. I know we all like to hate, but dude, I mean, Bitcoin has has done very, very well this year. And any other market, you'd be very happy from top from low to top up 100%. You'd be very, very happy with that return. Uh, and any other market, it's only in crypto where we get you know, super pissed off at a hundred percent move. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's only in crypto, dude. Um, let me see. What are the Saudis saying, bro? Dude, the Saudis right now. I don't know what the Saudis are saying. Well, should we ask what the Saudis are saying? Let's see what the Saudis are saying. Yo, Saudi, what, 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 what are we saying right now? You want my honest opinion? Or do you want me to lie to you? If you want me to lie to you, Bitcoin's going to go down. And it's altcoin season starting. Just kidding. I'm shorting the altcoins and longing Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin's, about to get, Bitcoin's about to get its next, next leg to the upside. Get ready, guys. Get ready. I'm telling you, everyone's looking for a pullback right here. Bitcoin is about ready to get that next leg up to 32,400. Get ready, my friends. Okay. Now, while we get ready for it, we will have a nice little party. Let us have a nice little party as we get ready for the next leg up on Bitcoin that everyone is looking for a pullback for that I've seen on every single other channel. Every other every other thumbnail I've seen today is, is pullbacks coming for Bitcoin? <laughs> is pullback coming? All right, here we go. Let's get this let's get this party started. Here we go. The Saudis. The Saudis are short in the all coins and long in the cold. Follow the Saudis. And you will never be displaced from the Saudis. <laughs> oh Lord. Come on, Eat. Get a little bit of a bid, bro. If Eat can get back above this low, I'll be very happy. I think we're gonna see Eat squeeze up here, man. I think we're gonna see a nice Eat squeeze back up to 1936. And uh, Bitcoin, I mean, at least test the top of this channel, bro. This song kind of rocks out. I love this song, dude. Who else is long, guys? Are you long or short right now? Let me know in the chat. Are you long or short? Or are you in Bitcoin? Or did you sell all your Bitcoin at the highs? Let me know what you did. I want to know what everyone's thinking. Are you long and short right now? I am long. I'm long and strong. All right? I'm long and strong. At the current moment, my friends. And uh, that's how we're going to play this shit. <laughs> Let's get this shit, boy! Ah! Right off the white box, baby. <laughs> oh, Lord. Come on, Saudis. Come on, Saudis. I see you squeezing this up with the bullish divergence. Right off the bottom of the channel. I see you. Come on. Come on, John said long and strong, baby. <laughs> Let's go. It's better to be long and strong than short and, what rhymes are short? Uh, short and, uh, nothing rhymes with short. <laughs> Shit. Uh, short and, nothing rhymes with short, guys. I'm, I'm horrible at this. They don't call me, uh, you know, there's a reason why I'm not a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a reason why I'm not a rapper, bro. Like, what rhymes with short that makes sense? You could say I'm long and strong or I'm short and... Oh, my God, man. Um, now it's going to piss me off. Now I got to do this. Now I got to do this. Now I got to think of a word. Now it's going to piss me off. I got to go through every single letter of the alphabet. Uh, it, 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 <laughs> I can't... Short and tort. Turn right, short and tort. Thank you, pal. That's a good one, bro. You said short and pork. <laughs> short and pork. I like that one too, man. I think is Savvy still dead out there? Yeah, Savvy is still murdering them. Okay, yeah, Savvy guys. Uh, Savvy is still on the sidewalk 
with his ladder next to him with his shorts off. I don't know why his shorts are on the ladder and he's just laying on the ground. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on out there, but definitely concerned about the ladder with the shorts off and Savvy sitting on the ground. So we'll have to, we'll have to get an update on what's happened with Savvy there shortly. Um, come on, Corn, get a little squeeze. I, I really want to, like I said, I, I am long on ETH. So I'm hoping ETH can get a little, like, get some, gets a little bit more momentum. This that came back into this range, dude. You know, but this is just your classic, uh, for me at least, this is your classic, like, just range, break of the range, right? Um, obviously, looking looking for a nice level left, looking left, right? There was a few good levels over here, and getting back into the range, you're just playing it back up here. You know. Obviously, it could just get rejected here. If it starts showing weakness, then there I'll cut it. If it's going to start coming back down, but I do think I'm, I'm feeling this thing is going to break through, dude. I'm feeling this thing is going to break through and send back up here, dude. And and I'm feeling like I'm feeling like after Bitcoin hit this resistance once, twice, three times, and it's coming up a fourth time. I I feel like uh, this is gonna this is gonna be a time it's gonna break through there. It's gonna break through that little resistance, if I had to guess. I don't know. I I, I feel like it's gonna do it, but it's definitely taking its sweet time. Which it's okay, man. I mean, we can we can all take our sweet time if we want to. You know what I mean? What do we got? Any altcoins getting a little move up here? We got near kind of popping up again. Not nothing too much. Nothing crazy going on over here. Flow up a little bit. Yeah, no, nothing nothing too crazy over there in the altcoin market so far. Everything pretty much flat still. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I'm long like your mom schlong. How did you know my mom had a had a, had a schlong? Beth, Beth, how did you know my mom had a schlong? You, something you gotta tell me. You got something you gotta tell me? Jordan! How does your stream know that I have a schlong? Oh, it was bath? <laughs> oh, it was bath. Okay. <laughs> well, it makes perfect sense why he knows. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no one else knows, but bath. <laughs> he definitely knows I got a schlong. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, Alan, you should check, check BTC USD Binance US Sharp. Check BTC slash um, USDT okay. Binance US chart. We can do that. Um, I mean, we, we are we are on that chart, so I'm a little bit confused. Um, but here here's the here's the BTC, uh, you B, BTC USDT on Binance chart. I don't know if there's anything different on here, but here we go. It's the same chart. I'm a little, I'm a little bit confused, my man. Alan, I'm a little bit confused, bro. <laughs> like I'm a little bit confused, man. Like it's cool, um, but we, we got we got we got the same chart over here, but you know, I don't know if we, maybe maybe you want to look at the volume or something. Maybe you want to look at the volume. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, well I I don't I don't think that's the reason why you want to look at it. I'm I'm a little bit confused though. <laughs> like I, I I I need a little bit more info, um. Unfortunately, yo, 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 Tom K. Um, he said, can you look at earn? Let's do earn, man. Let's do earn. Earn. I want to earn me some earn, bro. Earn. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, just like with all the alts, man, we're just in a consolidation zone, you know? Uh, earn. Let's see. Oh, you meant to say dominance? Darren, please. Oh, okay. I got you. I'll look at the dominance. Yeah, give me one sec. I'll look at the dominance, man. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, earn, it's just just kind of in this range, man, you know? It's kind of in the range. I think this is, this is probably going to end up being the consolidation range for this, you know, at the end of the day. Um, just the consolidation range, right? I mean, it's... You know, for me, it's actually, this one's actually not too bad, but what I'll say about this one is, um, for me, it's like, if you're interested in buying this, which, 
you know, for any, all, always look at the earn BTC pair, right? So like this one's at the low, right? So you might say, okay, this one's at the range low, not too bad. What I would do is, okay, let's go look at earn BTC, okay? Uh, earn BTC, let's see. I look at earn BTC and I say, eh, right? And, and, and listen, this is not me just being like, oh my God. I look at earn BTC and I see a break of, they have a better chart. This is not a good chart. Earn BTC. Okay, that's the only chart we have, unfortunately. But um, I see a break of the June low, right? Which is just kind of screaming like this thing is going to continue lower, right? So not going to say earn USD is going to go down because if Bitcoin's going to go up, earn USD can go up. But like this, this seems like it. it's kind of like, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like, uh, <laughs> It, this one definitely could just continue lower against Bitcoin, which le leads me leads me to the to the case of, you know, not necessarily okay. If you're going to hold this long term, that's fine. Um, but just like with the other altcoins, I wouldn't be surprised if this one just kind of uh, if Bitcoin just keeps outperforming it, right? And I always would ask is okay if Bitcoin's going to outperform is is there a point to hold this at the current moment? You got to ask yourself that question. But if it's a long term hold, listen, man. Like I said, you I mean you're at you're at basically your consolidation range and the, the closer you can buy the lows the better man you know and even better like if this dump below and got back in boom that's what i would want to see a little dump below and get back in oh that would be so much sexier so much sexier there though but that's what i would ask if you see your old bitcoin pair getting smashed to the downside and um, ask yourself do i want to be getting in this right now and and, and you know, just ask yourself that. Come on, Cole. Strap up. We're going to the moon. Isn't an urn something you put dead body, dead people's ashes in? Oh yeah, we can, we can go get, we can go get savvy from outside. <laughs> Perfect. We got an urn. <laughs> yes, there we go. It makes all sense. It makes so much sense now. While, while we got that outside, let's go, man. Thank you, Bath. Let me get the urn. Let me put it on the table. All right, now we got now we got uh, the, the ashes of all the bears who sold all their Bitcoin to BlackRock at 25K, right? We got the ashes of all you guys sitting right here who are hoping and praying that Bitcoin is going to dump to 25K again so you can get in at the same price you sold at, all right? So here you go. Here's our urn. Boom. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. We're looking good on that one, dude. <laughs> Um, yeah, shout, shout out to Tim, Tim, Tom K though. Hope that, hope that helps you at least a little bit. Think, uh, think about earn, dude. Tyler said, I am George. We're all George. Let's go. Let's go, man. Hey, I, I, we're, we're getting to that point where George is, is soon going to be a genius, <laughs> right? So we, we go through these cycles, right? Where we go through like a two year window where, you know, George is George. And then we go from a two-year window where George is a genius. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're, we're almost at that point where George is almost a genius. <laughs> you know, we're all the new people who come in. It's like a cycle, right? Here's basically the cycle of crypto, right? Here's the cycle of crypto, right? So basically we have, uh, when, when you first get into crypto, right? You are going to open up YouTube. Um, you know, we say this is the Bitcoin market. Bit, uh, this is the previous all-time high on Bitcoin right here, okay? You got Bitcoin coming up past all-time highs. This is when you start getting into crypto, right? And you, you throw on YouTube and you watch George, right? You're like, oh my God, this guy, he just keeps saying everything's going to go up. This guy's a genius. This guy's a freaking genius. He just keeps saying, gonna go up, and it keeps gonna go upping, <laughs> right? This guy's a genius. He's the best trader of all time. Right, and, and this is the point in the market where where George is a genius. Right, <laughs> we've all been there. And then, right, as the market keeps coming back down, it's buy the dip. Right, buy the dip, and market starts coming back down. Right, and then this is the part where <laughs> all the people who watch George here start turning into a crypto veteran. Right, you turn into a veteran of crypto. Right, and then eventually Bitcoin starts to come back up. This is when the new wave of people watch and <laughs> George is the genius. <laughs> Everything gonna go up. <laughs> right? And then you sort of do this and then it's, it's okay. There we are. But yeah, that, 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 that's basically the cycle of uh, 
the cycle of the market, man, uh, is, is, is pretty much right there. But yeah. Uh, I voted burrito. Nice, dude. I said I, I would take an enchilada out of it. Let's do, let's do another poll. Let's throw another poll. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Should we do how? I'm trying to think of a good poll. I'm trying to think of a good poll. I, I, I we, need, we need help me with a good poll, guys. Tell me, tell me the good poll. I need another good poll, guys. Give me a good poll, and don't don't tell me, Jordan. Get get the strip of poll. Get the strip of poll. I need a good poll. That's what I need. You gotta say, Jordan, go get go get go get yourself a strip of poll, man. No, we don't want that. Um, all right, dominance. I, I think I think someone asked for dominance. I think it was uh, who asked for dominance. It was um, oh, it was Alan. Alan asked for dominance. So Bitcoin dominance. Yeah, so so this dude, I, I, this is going to continue up. I, I think, you know, it, it's just going to continue up, right? You're going to have the days where altcoins do better, but overall, the overall trend will be Bitcoin dominance going up, <laughs> right? It's not the most fun thing to talk about, to be quite honest myself. I don't like talking about Bitcoin dominance going up. That's not fun. <laughs> As Bitcoin dominance goes up, that means nothing. It's not really a fun market, right? That means basically Bitcoin's either going up or down and altcoins are doing worse. Which just kind of makes it not a fun market. Now it's it is a fun market, in theory, right? But uh, it should be a fun market when Bitcoin dominance is going up. But uh, you know, most peeps are, are mostly in altcoins, right? So it's not a fun market for those people. But you know, I think fifty seven percent is coming on Bitcoin dominance. Right? But that, that's my thought process on that. Um, and then basically, when this gets up here, um, that's probably when you want to get more heavy into alts is when this gets back up into here. And then that's when you can maybe shift, shift some of your Bitcoin profits into altcoins if you want to do that. It's all it's all basically on <laughs> what you want to do, right? For the most part. <clears throat> Man, bear pick said 36K soon. Uh, I'm waiting for some type of impulse in here, man. I'm waiting for some type of impulse. Uh, Michael said, who's going to be more of a genius at that point in the market? George or that guy from Coin Bureau who sold his bags at the bottom? Uh, <laughs> Coin Bureau or George, who's more of a genius? Well, uh, I, I, I mean, prices tend to go up. So over the course of time, prices tend to go up. So, you know, I, I would say George is more of a genius in that standpoint, right? Especially if he's buying mostly Bitcoin, because you know Bitcoin tends Bitcoin tends to go up over time. It doesn't seem like it. It seems like Bitcoin's only down, but you know, once again, if you follow the four-year cycles, you know Bitcoin's just doing what it always does, and it goes up and to the right over time, right? Up and to the right over time. Now it's 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 a it's a it's a curve that's definitely not going up as much over time because you can't go up more over time because then the market cap gets just too high and you just can't go up as much as you used to. Though, I think that might change if we start getting some of these ETFs in here. <laughs> I think that, that that whole thing might change. But yeah, if, if number number goes up throughout history, you know, in markets, which it just does. I mean, that's just, that's just, that's why it's always better being a perma bull than a perma bear, right? Oh, it's always being a better, it's always, always, always better being a perma bull than a perma bear. Being a perma bear, you just lost over the course of history, <laughs> pretty much. Unless you like perfectly timed the high, which you which you probably already try to time the high like eight times before you before you caught the high. It's like Michael Burry, man. It's like everyone's like Michael Burry's a genius, but do you know how many times that guy has predicted like a major crash? Like twenty times, and of course, one of the times he predicted it, it freaking happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like okay, it's a, it's like okay, great. You know, it's like one of the times you predicted a major crash, the major crash happened. It's crazy. I think before 2008, he predicted like, he basically predicted a crash like every single year <laughs> leading up to 2008. Um, you know what I mean? G1, GD said, all I can say is my curve is going up. Nice, dude. Your curve is going straight up to the moon, bro. 
I don't know what that means. I hope it means like maybe your biceps getting bigger or, you know, or your shoulders getting bigger or your, your, your chest is getting bigger. I hope it's not like your ass is getting bigger. I mean, if your ass is getting bigger, by all means, you know, keep doing the squats, bro, you know? But like if the ass starts getting too big, you, you want to stop there. You don't want to, you don't want to be too, doing too many squats. You know what I'm saying? K-Dub said he predicted 20 of the last two crashes. <laughs> True. <laughs> 20 of the last two crashes. Uh, let's see. Velo said US, Velo USDT will pump hard very soon. True. That is very true. That is very freaking true. All right. Anyways, guys, I'm, I'm going to call it a night. doesn't seem like um, we're going to get any much of an action. A uh, 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 Guillermo asked for uh, Adam BTC because it works kind of as an oscillator. Let's see. Adam BTC. Actually, I, haven't, I didn't look at this one today. Funny enough. Oh, that's interesting. This is actually... Huh. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. It is kind of like an oscillator, huh? But like, how do we want to, how do we want to say when the low is going to come in? I guess what we can do is we probably want to say here just for the simple standpoint. Okay. We got a little deviation, a little deviation, but those were small deviations. This was the low, like this was a low. So I guess what we can say is, okay, if we want to use this as an oscillator, it's actually, it's actually a pretty good one. We want to use this almost as an oscillator, right? You can say this is a big range on Adam BTC in the weekly. When Adam BTC gets down to these levels or like at this line or below, that's probably when you want to be getting an Adam, right? Which it's coming up. I mean, at, at this point, right? I mean, we've already seen most of that move. I mean, you saw 65%. This is probably, what, another 16, you know, it could come a little bit lower, obviously, right? But, you know, I, I would say like in this zone, seems to be the point where you probably want to be scaling into Adam is, is when, it's, when it starts to get back into here, you know? Or if you want to front run a little bit, hey, I mean, you, you can get in if it, when, it, when it gets close. Shit, bro. That's, yeah, that's actually a good one, dude. That's a good one. Thank you for this one, dude. I I, I love I love charts like this, because honestly, I, I honestly think these charts are more important than the, than the USD charts a lot of times, you know. So that, that's a good one, dude. <clears throat> BTC is pumping. Hey, here we go. Strap up, we're going to the moon. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we got we got to move up to the 50 EMA at least. <laughs> I'll take that all day. We got a slight little move up. That's what I'm talking about, man. Should we get a little music going for this? I think we should. I think we should. No, not this one, not this one, not this one, this one. Here we go. Let's get this. Yo, shout out to BRMC. Shout out to you, man. There we go. Bullish Divergence playing out. Bada bing, bada boom. Woo! It's the Woo song, baby. Woo! Woo! Bullish Dip playing out. Thank you for the liquidity. Thank you. Let's get it, man. Uh, everything just faked out in the past 10 minutes. <laughs> Probably. We're right at the 50 EMA, guys, so be careful right here. Right, we swung up here once, twice. We, we wicked, but well, we kind of got back above it slightly, and then it came back down, and now we're right at this shit. See if we can test the top of the channel, though. 30,562. Oh, we got ETH coming back into the range, baby. Come on, get back in that range. Get back in that freaking range, ETH. Feed daddy. Daddy wants a steak dinner tonight. You know what I'm saying? Daddy wants a steak dinner. Get me back into that range. Bitcoin, you got you to you let ETH get back into the range, bro. Don't be rejecting right there, because if you reject right there and come back down, basically what you're going to do is you're going to make ETH get rejected right here as a retest. We, 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 we don't want to be seeing that. We, we don't want to be seeing that, okay? We want you to get back in. 
So Bitcoin, oh, don't do it. Don't do it, you little crazy bastard. Um, no, like I said, at this point, okay, we're at the 50. If we're gonna swing up, I, I would think we're gonna test here, right? Which would come in right around like 30,537. The question is, do we got enough juice? Do we got enough juice to get back above? I would say the four hours actually flipping over. So the four hours got some juice now. The four hour stock RSI has been bottomed for like since Friday. <laughs> It's just been chilling at the lows. Um, and you actually got market cipher flipping over too. So we'll see if we got the juice, my friends, but um, we're gonna we're gonna try our best. We don't I don't want Ethereum getting rejected right here though. Cause then it just like kind of like, okay, we back tested this. Runk, we're coming back down. I don't want nothing to do with that, with that business. Uh man bear picks I got my biggest trade ever in, and I'm hyped as F. Don't you dare stop now. <laughs> He's got his biggest, biggest trade ever. And nice, dude. Would you take a, you assuming you take a long from BTC from down here? Nice, dude. Congratulations, my guy. I bet a, a bunch of people are probably killing it. Anything else moving up? Let's see. So we got anything else getting a little bit of a squeeze. Doesn't seem like it right now. Pretty much everything's flat. Everything is flat as a pancake. Flat as a, as a Karen who complains that... She didn't get three sausages instead of two at her bre favorite breakfast restaurant. It's looking flat. Really, really flat. Quite frankly, is looking ridiculously flat. <laughs> Too flat, to be honest. Holy, what's the, oh, we already look at Fear and Greed. Yeah, yeah, that's at a 59. So we're not too terribly worried with that. Um, oh, we need, we need the nerd guy, here you go. Basically, Bitcoin is clearly a scam. Cryptocurrency is clearly an idiot with no common sense. And scientifically speaking, according to a study at the Bank of Canada, more people who are fina financially illiterate invest in Bitcoin. F f f f f f f financially illiterate invest in Bitcoin. F f f f financially illiterate invest in Bitcoin. Um, all right, guys. Anyways. I think I, I think I'm gonna call it here. It, it's it's not gonna pump. It's not gonna pump while I'm on. It, it, it's not gonna pump while I'm gone. I appreciate everyone that's that's been on today. You guys have been absolute studs. Shout out to all you guys that are here. We'll be back tomorrow, hoping that we get a move up, man. I'm I'm hoping we get a move up, um, up to my next targets. My my next target is thirty two thousand four hundred. Um, everything's pointing for us to go there, in my personal opinion. Whether you talk about uh, daily time frame, weekly time frame, monthly time frame, those are all looking fantastic at this point. Um, let's get it. Let's get this busy. Hope we can come on tomorrow and we see a fresh, beautiful 31 of 32K BTC. Once again, if Bitcoin does want to pull back, anything above 28.5 is Gucci. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. All right. Don't be wearing Gucci. Wear t-shirts, man. Okay. Wear t-shirts and shorts and sweatpants. Don't be wearing Gucci, man. Don't, don't, don't be like Richard Hart out there freaking wearing all that Gucci shit. You don't need that, man. But have a fantastic night, guys. I'm going to go eat some Cheez-Its. Because I got the duo cheese. It's I got the I got the cheddar cheese. It's and I got uh, it's the duo, the cheddar and the Parmesan cheese. It's those ones are the freaking best. Anyways, uh, later Hamilton, later Woods of Water, Super Maku, Bath, later bro. Uh, what we got Mao, Multi, Dominic, Big Din. Shout out to all you guys, man. Peace. Catch you guys later.